Hey everybody, and welcome back to Mondays with me, Dr. Crystal. So I know I'm a little late to the game, but I was recently checking out this app called Fiverr. If you don't know what it is, it's where you can pay people to do stuff for you. A lot of it's $5, a lot of it's a little bit more expensive. So I started looking into it and I thought to myself, I wonder what medical things are on here. And so I started searching and I found out that you can buy medical advice from people who are at least saying that they're doctors for $5. I don't know about you, but this does not sound very legit to me. This is something I would never even think about doing. One, because you don't know these people who are messaging you, you can't examine them. You could give them wrong advice and that's scary for their health. And then second, the liability alone is terrifying. I would never do it. That being said, some people are apparently doing it. And so we're gonna check it out. Okay, so I made a new screen name and my alias is Lil Mama 333 So if you see me on there, let's say medical consultation. We're gonna go with 24 hours because I wanna report back to you guys tomorrow. All right, do online doctor consultation. I am doctor and can help you with your medical related issues and diseases to achieve a healthy lifestyle. I will also interpret your medical reports, make provisional diagnoses, make a provisional diagnosis, and then can prescribe you medications. Okay, so I'm just gonna tell these people like something that came into my clinic in the last week. So I will give them a story and we will see if they came up with the same diagnosis that I came up with in clinic. Okay, so this is a real patient that came in this week. I don't quite remember his age, but he was somewhere around 20 years old. I'm a 20 year old male and I've been coughing for the last week. I feel like I'm a little congested as well. I'm coughing up phlegm. What should I do? We'll see what his advice is. Oh, it's 3.46 a.m. where he is, so I um, might not get a response for a while. Okay, um, should we do another one? All right, here's one. Be your general family physician, internal medicine doctor. First of all, internal medicine doctors and family doctors are different things. They can both do primary care medicine, they can both be general practitioners, but they're different. So you can't be both. That's not true, you can be both, but you would have to go through training twice. Anyways, I will give you the complete consultation that a medical consultant can provide, including medical prescription. All right. All right, this is another case I saw. Hello, doctor. I'm a 19-year-old college student. I've been having knee pain for the last week. The pain feels like it's in the front of my knee and hurts when I'm active, especially with running. What should I do? So far, I've spent $14. Hopefully, I get some good advice back. Oh my gosh, this is insane. This person says, make prescription of any doctor for $5. You want to buy any medicine you want, I'll hand you over a prescription of any specialist with their details. I'm gonna do this just to see what they end up sending because this guy probably needs to be kicked off. This person says they're a doctor. Whew. This is crazy. Okay, let's see. All right, so it wants me to put the name of the doctor and address, hospital name, email, and they're gonna apparently send me a blank prescription. So I'm gonna put my information and I wanna see what this looks like. And this, it scares me a little bit that people could come on here and do this. So we'll see if it looks legit, I don't know. I literally can't believe that was on there. So I put on my information We'll see if they give me a prescription with my information on it. Um, we'll see. No matter what the finished product looks like when I get it back, I am going to try to get that guy off Fiverr. That should not be happening. You cannot just offer to print fake prescriptions for people that's illegal. Not only is it illegal, it's dangerous and people could end up with medications that could hurt them and do harm instead of trying to help. All right, this last one I'm just gonna do for fun. This guy makes a medical spokesperson video in a lab coat with a fake hospital green screen and I think that's hilarious. So we're gonna order it. $7.
All right, now I have to make a script and I'm not gonna show you guys this because you're just gonna see the video when it comes back and it's super awesome. Also, I wanna know, have you guys ever ordered anything on Fiverr? And if you did, was it a good experience? Was it a bad experience? Let me know in the comments below. All right guys, so as soon as everybody replies to me, I will be back to share their responses with you and we'll go from there. So I will see you then. A few moments later. Hey guys, I'm back and I'm actually in Atlanta right now. I came to visit Heather, so I'm sorry if you can hear the highway behind the camera here. So this video turned out to be way crazier than I expected. I will let you guys know that everybody responded and I am going to share the results with you. All right, are you ready? I don't care if you're ready, I'm ready, let's do it. All right, so this is the first one that responded. If you remember, I told them I was a 19 year old college student that had had knee pain for the past week. And so just a little reminder, these are cases that I've actually seen in clinic in the last couple of weeks. And so I will tell you what happened with this guy and I will tell you what ended up being the diagnosis in my clinic. So let's see. So a little while after I sent this to him and paid the $5, actually $7, but um, he said, this and I'll put it on the screen. Okay, or hello, okay, I got your problem, but would like to have some history about how it got started. Was it hit by something? And I said, no, I didn't have an injury. All right, is one of the two or both having pain? And I said, just my left knee. And he said, okay, what about your weight? Like he wanted to know if I was overweight or not, or if I was underweight. And I said, I was a normal weight. And then, he said, all right, I got it now. You'll have your prescription in a little while. This is crazy. Like, you'll have your prescription in a while. It'll be having, it'll be having the medicine for a couple of weeks. Afterwards, you can stop the medication if not needed, not having pain, otherwise can continue. And so I was like, okay. I, he asked me like two questions. Does he know what is going on? So I said, okay, thank you. You know what the problem is? And he said, yeah, as you exert, you do exercise. As you exert, do exercise. It can be due to insufficient level of certain vitamin and cartilage spasm. You may not worry as it is a common problem with the people who do not take sufficient amounts of calcium or vitamin D. Okay, so let's go over this a little bit. Um, yes, calcium and vitamin D are important both together with building your bones, making them strong, um, but he has no idea what is going on with my knee. He did not get to examine me. So in my clinic, this guy actually had patellar tendonitis, which he had a little bit of tenderness right below his kneecap um, at the top of his patellar tendon and it was bothering him when he ran, he had just increased activity. And so what I ended up doing was giving him a rehab program. I gave him a strap to take some of the tension off that part of the tendon. Um, and we'll see if it gets better. But this guy is giving me terrible advice. So this is his prescription that he gave me. Bayer low dose tablets. So Bayer is aspirin. Once daily after breakfast for two weeks. Calcium and magnesium. I don't know what those zero and plus signs mean, but once daily after lunch for two weeks. And then I can continue, can, and then I can continue that if needed, if I'm still having pain. This is, this is so frustrating. Um, I feel bad that anybody is paying for this. This is not right, should not be allowed. I'm gonna do my best to make this not be a thing anymore because nobody should be getting advice like this. Honestly, something like this, if I took his advice, it's probably not gonna hurt me. I'm a young person, I probably don't have any med other medical problems, but my knee is probably not gonna get better. And so, okay, on to the next. Okay, so if you remember this one, I said, hi doctor, I'm a 20 year old male and I've been coughing for the last week. I feel like I'm a little congested as well. I'm coughing up phlegm. What should I do? And so this is a very common thing we see in clinic all the time. Um, the students will come in and give me this mini little 
piece of information and I have to ask them and drag the rest of the information out of them. And so we learn in medical school to ask open-ended questions. And so hopefully they'll come out with the story and tell you more in their words. But a lot of students, this does not happen. I have to ask lots of questions to get all of the information out of them. So somebody came in, they gave me a story like this recently within the last week. And he said, hey, do you have a fever too? And I said, I don't think so. Any medicine you are using? Just DayQuil. Everybody takes DayQuil and NyQuil. That's like their go-to thing to take when they're sick. That was it. Those were all the questions he asked. And he said, read the delivered message attaching pictures for reference and let me know if you have any questions. Smiley face. So in his message, he said, Hey dear, you need to take a syrup that has dextromethorphan in it, two tablespoons three times a day, along with anti-allergy tablet three times a day for at least five days. If this was a cold, not really bad advice. I mean, dextromethorphan is a cough suppressant. A lot of times we will give people antihistamines when they have colds because it can help um, decrease inflammation up here. Uh, let's see, take warm water, add two to three teaspoons of honey, tablespoons of honey, and drink that twice or thrice daily. Also, would not be a bad recommendation if this was just a simple cold we were de dealing with. Dayquil is a good medicine, continue using it, but syrup with dextromethorphan compound is also required. So this kills me. This, this, this is so stressful to me because the student who came in and said this to me, obviously I was there talking to him. I got to ask him more questions. I asked him if he was short of breath. He was a little bit short of breath when he was active. I asked him about his medical history. He had a history of asthma. And when I listened to his lungs, he was wheezing. And so the student that I saw actually was having a mild asthma exacerbation. This guy would never know. He's telling this student, me, to go take some cough syrup and you'll be fine. Most likely, nothing bad will happen again, but this student, I treated him for an asthma exacerbation. On the other side of the coin, something really bad could happen. Asthma exacerbations can get bad. People can end up in the hospital, intubated, and you can die from it. It's rare, but you can. So this really scares me that these people are giving this kind of advice, asking two questions and then telling them what to do. Somebody who's not me might be thinking, okay, I spoke with a doctor. They would know if I needed to see somebody. So if somebody messaged me this, like if this was one of my friends who messaged me this, I would probably say, go have someone listen to your lungs because I don't know, they could have a pneumonia, even though I said I didn't have a fever. Usually you can tell if you have a fever, but there have been times where people are like, I don't really know, I don't have anything to check my temperature. I listen and they have a raging pneumonia. And so I just, this is, this is bad medicine. None of this bothers me as much as this third one. So if you remember, this is the one where somebody said they will make any prescription that you want for $5. And so I had to put in my information. So I put my name and basically just the address of where I work. So I submitted that request and he messaged me and said, what medicine do you need? And I said, hydrochlorothiazide, 25 milligrams. Hydrochlorothiazide is a blood pressure medicine that's super common. Prescribe it to a lot of people to control their blood pressure. He said, all right, give me two hours. And then he said, I have to print out the file that he'll send it to me. And so as promised, two hours later, I get a file and he told me to print it and I can use it multiple times. So this is what I got and I actually printed out a paper copy of this because I was just shocked. So it has my name on it. I gave him my name. Um, they went online and got the Notre Dame logo and put it on the top of this. They got the phone number to our clinic and put it on the top of it. And this freaked me out. And so I printed it out, I brought it to our pharmacy and I asked them, is this something that you guys would fail if somebody brought this to you. I mean, hydrochlorothiazide, it's a blood pressure medicine. It's not like something that people are usually going to try to abuse. 
But still, like you could have asked this guy for anything. So they told me that on this, there are two lines of text that are missing that is legally required by Indiana law. And so they wouldn't fill it there, but they said it was pretty close to some prescriptions that they've seen and they wouldn't be surprised if another pharmacy would fill it or in another state they would fill it. So this is scary and super illegal. And so I am already working to get all of these people off of Fiverr. I don't know if any other kind of action can be taken just because like, I think all of these people said they were from, at least the two doctors said they were from Singapore. I don't know where this person said they were from, but like they said they were a doctor and they are pretty much impersonating other doctors by putting their name on these prescriptions. And it's definitely not okay. Just not okay at all. Okay, so this is the last one and the one that I'm most excited for because I hired someone who was gonna wear a lab coat, pretend to be a doctor, and with a hospital green screen, and they will advertise any product that you want. And so I wanted them to advertise me. And I haven't watched this video yet. I waited for you guys, and so I downloaded it. He just sent it to me like an hour ago, and so I'm super excited. Are you guys ready? Hello. I am here to endorse Dr. Crystal, MD. Her YouTube channel is a little slice of heaven. Watching her videos makes you feel like a unicorn jumping over a beautiful rainbow. If you haven't subscribed, I'm not sure what you're doing with your life. Go watch her now. Now, now. <laughs> Amazing! That's the best one. That guy is getting a good review. You should listen to him. If you haven't subscribed, Go subscribe, go watch me now. I was hoping he would say it like now, 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 but he, I, this dude, I love it. I'm, I'm probably gonna watch this like 10 more times after I'm done with this video. So I really enjoyed making this video even though it cost me 30 bucks. I hope you enjoyed watching it. If you did, please give it a like, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you next week. Also, I will keep you guys updated if I get these guys off Fiverr. Let me know if you have any ideas for videos you want me to make and I will try to do them. See you guys later. Hello, I am here to endorse Dr. Crystal, MD. Her YouTube channel is a little slice of heaven. Watching her videos makes you feel like a unicorn jumping over a beautiful rainbow. If you haven't subscribed, I'm not sure what you're doing with your life. Go watch her now. Now, now.